All right, so what is the deal with the political impl- the political appointee? Now, reading in more of this public administration, at, when you get to page 181, they break down the certain levels, uh, the special characteristics of the subsystems of, of uh, public administration. And one of the ones they start out with, the one they start out with is the political employee, which gets my attention because in the news, <coughs> we hear about Trump firing this guy, Trump firing that guy. They're all political employees. And like the news acts shocked that these political employees terms don't last very long. And it is shocking because according to this book, the average political employee lasts about a uh, little over a year, maybe two years. If they're lucky, four years. Okay, they tend not to last very long. And in Trump's administration, they last a lot less time than the average period of time. But that's, that's uh, what gives uh, the importance of this political employee, the political appointee position um, such such weight they they have to hit the ground running okay they know that their time is very short let's see we have okay a group um, and it varies in numbers but it's saying that you have maybe 5,823 okay and this book was written about 2004 I believe so almost 6,000, there's almost 6,000 political empl- appointees. And um, it, it, the news is reported for Trump that he, he hasn't appointed many of these. So, you know, this is 6,000 estimates for past presidents up until about Clinton. And, it's, and uh, it sounds like Trump has drastically reduced that. There's, th- out of, there's 3 million federal civilian workers and out of out of that you have 6000 of, of them are political appointees appointed by the president and they break down the appointees okay the ones that require senate approval the number is 663 that's a lot and then the ones that don't require senate approval is 1,405. But once again, these numbers are going to be a lot lower for Trump because he's he's working uh, with uh, the the fewest people in in a long time. Okay, so the the people who are appointed uh, have a tendency. Uh, the people who are politically appointed have a tendency to ha- work in the field uh, outside of government. Okay. They're, they're brought in with that experience. Say you need somebody for uh, to the Bureau of Interior, and you, you probably want maybe take a rancher or just a lawyer or somebody who's got that experience that can come in and help with the policy. They're, these, these, these type of people work in very important positions. They're, they're reported on by the media. They, I mean... There's, there's a lot of scrutiny in their, for their positions. I mean, you look at Rex Tillerson. I mean, he was, who was this guy before President Trump appointed him, okay? But he was, he was a very qualified uh, fellow for the position because he, was, he had experience with working in other countries and, and uh, performing the, the whatever deals and and negotiations and and all that but his his position is is short and that's by design okay it's expected to be that way okay and as Trump explains uh, one time he said that uh, he fills the positions for for the uh, the various needs at the time okay so you just don't grab somebody and hold them for your whole your whole career because there's a lot of different policies that uh, get brought up over time uh, that become important politically and and on the agenda for for Trump's agenda 
and stuff. And some people are more qualified to handle these type of uh, policies uh, better than others. You, you just, you just don't want to. You want to have the best, especially in a high-level position like that. So they hire people who have experience on the outside. And since this uh, political appointee position is usually short, the the people need the people who are appointed need to be able to fall back onto you know when they get when they get kicked out either they resign or they're fired or whatever they need to be able to have a fallback position maybe maybe they're on leave from from a university or their company or something they they just fall back onto that that uh that full-time position that they were holding and because of that uh, the type of people, the pool that's available to become a political employee has a tendency to be very limited, especially to uh, white, middle-aged, ur urban, advanced Ivy League education educated people um, who have a high status in their careers, okay? These people are called a, a, a bird of passage by... Hugh Hecklow, all right, birds of passage, uh, you type in that phrase, I'm sure it has something to do with um, just free-flowing and moving around frequently and all of that. So they, they, the person could be uh, reappointed because uh, looks, it sounds like uh, Trump is reappointing John, the Bolton, John Bolton who worked in government before, and then he, he must have, well, he, he worked as a, C, as a Fox News, uh, like, uh, correspondent, or, or, uh, a professional for Fox, he, the people would interview him and all that, and now he's back, he's, he sounds like he's coming back into, uh, government position, so, uh, some, some old, old, uh, appointees could come back, but it's, it's definitely, in, in line with uh, the president and the loyalty involved to the president's agenda. Speaking out against the president as a political employee appointee uh, is, is not good. That's not what they want to do, uh, especially when they want to get their own agenda, work on their own agenda effectively enough. You don't speak out against the president. All right, that's why the president is going to focus on hiring people who are loyal all right, who, who, uh, you know, just will implement what the president's uh, agenda is at the time. Okay, so that's that's a that's a pretty pretty uh, interesting interesting uh, like group of people. All right, it, it works on the federal level with uh, the president of the United States. It works. And state level, it works on city level. It just um, you have uh, different different groups for that. And I think that's cabinet. Yeah, they they just they, this book talks a, a lot of detail, and I'd highly recommend reading everything else. I was just trying to give a, a general synopsis. Uh, yeah, that if you want to. They, 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 they can easily be replaced. They hit the ground running. And if, if uh, like a political situation becomes so bad, they could be made, these political employees could be made uncomfortable so much that they, they want to resign or at least have to alter their behavior like Jeff Sessions. He, he hasn't resigned. He's altering his behavior. But he, uh, he can be fired by the president at will. But it's just not something that's that's happened yet. But his everybody every all those political employees positions are are very very short. He just um, I'm, I'm surprised Ben Ben Carson seemed to have done really well with uh, the H the HUD. Okay, uh, he had that controversy about buying expensive furniture, but it looks like it's really being. Um, uh, like looked over, looked past. Uh, he just explained that it was a mistake and it was being looked past. And there are no firings under that. Not like with Tom Price, who was spend, spending all that money on on jets to go to a, visit his son and all that stuff. 
and he offered to pay back a hundred thousand dollars it's money that uh just did this his money was no good apparently he is is the him abusing the the position that was more more of a concern than him just paying back after getting caught so it depends on yeah the agenda so i'm gonna stop here Woo! it's cold